It was August 25th, 1864. Atlanta had been under siege from General Sherman's forces for just over a month, when Atlanta finally fell. Sherman had just won a crucial battle that would help the Union greatly, starting his campaign in the South, the March to the Sea. General Sherman had a big impact on the Union's winning of the Civil War. His capture of Atlanta raised morale in the North, leading his campaign in the South that would be crucial in Abraham Lincoln's re-election. Overall, creating havoc for this Confederacy, and shifting the war and leading to a Union victory. William Tecumseh Sherman was born on February 8, 1820. Sherman lived in a small house in Lancaster, Ohio, where he was raised by his father, Charles Sherman, and his mother, Mary Sherman. Sherman grew up and went to West Point Military Academy, where he graduated to become a second lieutenant, representing law and order in the service of America. In May 1864, General Sherman had his 35,000-man army set off a march towards Atlanta. The Civil War had been going on for about three years, and the Union and Confederacy had been in a stalemate. The 1864 election was coming, and the Union had to get some momentum if they wanted the re-election of Lincoln. His march to Atlanta took about two months to arrive, and on July 2nd, Sherman looked over a hill nine miles away from Atlanta, seeing the Confederates digging trenches and setting up guns to defend against the Union invaders. Sherman wrote to his wife, three years ago, by a little reflection and patience, they could have had a hundred years of peace and prosperity. Last year, they could have saved their slaves, but now it is too late. Next year, their lands will be taken, and in another year, they may beg in vain for their lives. Battles raged outside the city, but Sherman couldn't get into Atlanta, but he had a plan. Sherman sent a force of men down south and cut off the supply line for Atlanta. And on August 25th, Confederate General John Bell Hood was forced to flee the city, and Atlanta fell in the hands of Sherman. In Atlanta, General Sherman wrote letters and stayed in the city for about a month. Atlanta was a huge win for the Union. Atlanta was a big railroad and transportation city for the Confederates, and with it being controlled by the Union, the South was hurt by the loss of the train hub, and was one of the events leading to the end of the Civil War. After the capture and destruction of Atlanta, the North's presidential candidate, Abraham Lincoln, and the South's presidential candidate, George B. McClellan, were about to compete in the 1864 election. The Confederates were losing the war, and they knew it. Their only hope was in McClellan to be elected. McClellan was an ex-Union general who believed that fighting wasn't the answer to solve the war. So that him being president gave the chance of ending the war and saving the Confederacy and their slavery. Though, with Atlanta's capturing, more people sided with Lincoln, and Lincoln was re-elected. The March to the Sea Even though Sherman captured Atlanta, he wasn't done. Sherman marched through Georgia, burning down civilian cities, farms, and destroying railroads. Sherman was looked down upon by the South as he tore through Georgia, Though, according to Dr. John F. Marshalek, Sherman's March to the Sea states that Sherman practiced destructive war, but he did not do it out of personal cruelty. Instead, he sought to end the war as quickly as possible, with the least loss of life on both sides. He attacked the civilian population because he wanted to send a message to the Confederate people that they had no chance of winning the war. As the army moved south, General Sherman made a brave decision to break off their supply line, and they would live off the land. Sherman cut all telegraph lines to avoid intelligent reports from reaching the south, as Sherman moved in secrecy. There was very little force from the Confederates to stop Sherman, 
Not only was Sherman's army a lot bigger than the other forces of the Confederacy, but he also outmaneuvered them, and the Confederates were guessing the army's location. The army moved up to 15 miles a day, burning down cities, tearing up railroads, and destroying farms. Sherman marched all the way to Savannah, Georgia, and when he met at the city border, the city mayor surrendered the city. William Tecumseh Sherman had started up from the border of Georgia and made it all the way to the Atlantic Ocean. It took eight months, but it was important to winning the war. Yet, Sherman was not finished. He headed up towards South Carolina to continue his destruction path. Sherman wrote, We have devoured the land, and our animals eat up the wheat and cornfields close. All the people retire before us, and desolation is behind. To realize what war is won should follow our tracks. William Tecumseh Sherman played a big role in the Civil War, and overall helped the Union win the war. Sherman captured and destroyed Atlanta, a big railway hub. He destroyed railroads, pillaged towns and villages, and burned down farms, and helped with the re-election of Lincoln. This was all because of his march to the sea. Thank you.